Hello and welcome back guys to yet another solution. Today we'll be solving a quant question. So let us jump directly into it. The equation 2x minus 3 modulus equal to x minus 5. How many different solutions for x? So this is like a very easy concept and you, it's a very standard concept. You should directly apply it. Whenever you see mod, you should uh, open the mod, like uh, get where it is equals to 0. This mod is 0 at 3 by 2. Basically what I'm doing is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3 by 2. So we will create our number line and there will be a point 3 by 2. We need to open the mod in two places. Uh, in this space, it would be positive. So any value greater than 1.5, 3 by 2, say for example 5. If we put 5 here, this becomes 10 minus 3, 7. So this is positive. Now if we have a value that is less than 3 by 2, say for example 0. So this will be minus 3. So this is a negative number, but it's a modulus. So we need to multiply it by minus 1. So the equation would be 2x minus 3 equals x minus 5 in this side of the equation and uh, 3 minus 2x equals x minus 5 in this side of our number line, right? So I have just multiplied this by negative uh, 1. So this signs get interchanged here. Now with this done, let us move to the next step. So if we try and get the value of x here, this becomes uh, 2x minus x, that is x equals 2 minus 5 plus 3 equals minus 2. So we get x as minus 2 here. But the catch here is that x was supposed to be positive. That was our range. And here it comes negative. So this is not a solution. Right? Now let us solve this side of the equation. This is minus 2x minus x is equal to minus 5 minus 3. So this becomes minus 3x. This becomes uh, minus 8. So x is equal to 8 by 3. Now 8 by 3 is what? 2 point something, 2 point xx, right? Now 2 point xx is greater than, this would be greater than 1.5, right? This would lie somewhere on this side of the number line, greater than 3 by 2 here. So again, our assumption was that x is less than 3 by 2, but the value comes this side. So again, this is also not the solution. So this equation effectively has zero solutions. So how many solutions for x? We have zero solution for x. Another way to think about the same question is that this value has to be positive. So x minus 5 has to be positive, right? So x minus 5 has to be greater than 0. This is what is our basic premise, which implies what x should be greater than 5. Now, if we use x greater than 5 and open the equation, this would uh, be something like this because this is positive x is greater than 5. All right, let us take step by step x is greater than 5. Thus, this mod. 2x minus 3 would also, uh, what would this become, right? This would become 10 minus 3, that is 7, right? So this is positive. So we can open this mod as a positive number, right? So 2x minus 3 is equal to uh, x minus 5. So, right? Now this is what? This is our, uh, this equation, right? We have already solved. Now here, x was coming as minus 2, but we have considered what? x should be greater than 5. There is no solution. So this is also another way to think about it. Whichever of the two ways you are more comfortable with, do that during the exam. I would suggest that uh, whenever you see a mod question, always focus on getting that point, uh, getting the space on your number line where there is a positive space, there is a negative space and accordingly solve for your values of x and see what value are you getting and does that value matches the criteria that you have chosen already. Right? With positive and negative, I just simply mean two side of uh, the point where you are uh, bifurcating your number line. Just that. Do not take this in literal sense because here this is 3 by 2. It is not entirely negative. Okay. So hope that it helps. Thank you for watching the solution.